Hachu! Sneezing, red eyes, itching or rash are all common symptoms of allergies of which many people suffer from. But what is an allergy and how does it actually work? Keep on watching to find out. An allergy is a malfunction of the immune system, which is a protection mechanism against dangerous molecules and pathogens such as bacteria and viruses. When the immune system is overactive, it can attack innocent substances, which are called allergens. A few examples are proteins in dust mites, cow's milk or the pollen of certain flowers. Allergies are often confused with intolerance. In case of an intolerance, the body reacts unusually to a certain substance as well, but without the involvement of the immune system. Allergies can be caused by two types of factors. One is genetics, as children of parents with allergies are more likely to develop an allergy themselves. And two is the environment, which includes your lifestyle and other factors. Men even talk about a hygiene hypothesis. This hypothesis states that if your lifestyle is too clean, the body will not be accustomed to harmless substances and thus develops an allergy when it suddenly comes into contact with them. If the allergen enters the body, it can be detected by an antigen presenting cell, APC for short as it is mistaken for a harmful antigen. Antigens are substances which the immune system produces antibodies against. The APC can take up the allergen and present it to other immune cells such as B and T cells. After presenting the allergen to these cells, the B cell differentiate and become antibody producing plasma cells. The IgE antibodies produce these cells as specific and thus bind specifically onto the allergen. If this was the first contact with the allergen, the base of the antibody will bind to another immune cell, the mast cell. Upon the second time of contact with the allergen, the antibodies on the mast cell will bind to the allergen via their antigen binding sites. This triggers the mast cell to release histamine and other chemicals from its granules. These histamine particles cause a vasodilation, the widening of blood veins and thereby the symptoms of an allergy, such as redness of the skin. So how can we fight allergies? There are three options to prevent an allergic reaction. Avoiding allergens, treating symptoms and allergy immunotherapy. Avoiding allergens is only possible with some allergies. Symptoms can be treated by blocking the histamine via antihistamine or by blocking the immune response of the body with corticosteroids. Allergy immunotherapy lets the body become accustomed to the allergen by administering increasing levels of the allergen for a longer period of time, resulting in the reduction or even disappearing of the immune response on the allergen. So next time you hear about someone's allergies, you know how it works. Thanks for watching!